Hi, my name is Marco, and today we'll be continuing our Splunk input series. So in our previous video, I showed you how to use our Splunk's text input, which are these guys. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use Splunk's radio input, which is right here. So Splunk's radio um, input it is good to use for when you have a limited amount of options and very low number. So for example, gender. Um, in our data set, gender only has two values, male or female. And that way, you know, you only have, you can only click male or female, which makes it a really good candidate for the radio option. Also, if you have a Boolean value such as attrition here, where it's yes or no, it's also a really good candidate for the radio button. So yeah, let's get into configuring this. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to call my label gender. And I'm going to call the token gender. So then we'll scroll down here to our static options and I'll call it I'll call the first field female and have it equal to female. And the reason it's female is because that's what the, when I'm done with this, I'll actually show you, but it's what the value of the field is. Ah, sorry. Next, we'll go here and we'll give it a name of male and the value of male. And what all, we'll, we'll also do is we'll have a third button called all. So if you don't care about the gender, you can just specify all here. Now we'll just click apply. Nice. Oh. Let me specify the label. Gender. And we can also set a default value. So let's set a default value of all. Apply. And save. So now to see this change in our table and make it all dynamic, all we have to do is just specify the token name. So gender is equal to our gender token. So now we'll hit apply and save. And now the data is there. So I'm going to refresh this. And we're going to run a few uh, searches um, with different using the radio buttons. So we just want to see all research scientists that are uh, all information about research scientists that are female. We can just click the female and then click submit and the table now updates dynamically. We just want to see male. We just click submit. Nice. And if we don't care about the gender, we hit all and we click submit. Okay. So uh, that concludes this video. And in today's video, I showed you how to use the radio inputs in Splunk. Right. Um, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. If not, um, give the video a like. And have a good night. Thank you.